In this video, you're going to learn how to identify the four nonverbal eye clues that let you read their mind. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Oh great, so you've been relying on those bloodshot peepers you're struggling to keep open to convey your star personality? Well, you already made it this far, so you might as well make the most out of it. A couple of hotshot psychologists named Richard Bandler and John Grinder invented a psychological field called Neuron Linguistic Programming that you need to know about. And one subject they often discussed was what eye movements tell us about other people's thoughts. Here are some common signs which will allow you to mind read. What? Up and to the right. Why? This eye movement happens when people are accessing the creative area of their brain and could very well mean they are lying. This could be more of a concern for the employer than you, but if the interviewer starts studying the ceiling tiles and chewing on her lip around the same time she says they like your resume, you might not want to count on the job. What? Sideways glance. Why? Sideways glances are usually reserved for when their office enemy comes barreling out of nowhere plunging a letter opener towards their ear. But other times it can be a sign of irritation. Might be a good time to start backpedaling from that off-color joke about rumors that they use sweatshops in China. What? Looking directly into your eyes. Why? A good sign of rapport. Eye contact often means they are at least making the effort to connect and soak in every word. A little head nodding says they are following along and approve of what you are saying. This is a good sign and is a step toward building rapport. For the Charles Manson stare, uh, see below. What? Long, intense eye contact. Why? Uh, awkward. This is often an even better sign they're lying. They're just trying hard to cover it up. Either that or their invisible friend just told them to kill you. This one could be tricky in an interview though because people in a formal situation who just met tend to put a lot of energy into the attention thing. They could just be putting extra attention into paying very close attention. In most cases, however, if true rapport has been built, paying attention will not seem like such a strain. What? Tilting the head and looking to the side. Why? This is the body language of someone recalling something. They might actually be listening to you for once, or maybe they forgot what you said and are trying to remember. What? Looking to the right and downwards. Why? This is what people do when they are having mental dialogue. Either they are trying to talk that invisible friend out of the killing you idea, or they are debating something. This could mean they have mixed feelings about something you've said and are trying to decide how to accurately interpret it. What? Rapid blinking movements. Why? This is a sign of hard thinking. Chances are they are not vibing well with you and their mind is straying or they're lying to you about something. We'll call you next week. Sure you will. What? Quick glances. Why? A quick dart of the eyes is a sign that they desire something. If the glance goes to the nearest exit, they cannot wait for you to shut the hell up so they can leave and go back to their office friends with benefits down the hall. If they keep glancing between your legs, well, you might have yourself a job. What? blinking in sync with you. Why? When someone really feels rapport with you, their blinking may slow down and even begin to match yours. This is a very good sign, and it usually comes across so natural you won't even notice it. One thing to notice about looking at the above eye movements is that it is never black and white, and there are several factors that could consider into a true interpretation. After all, every situation is completely different than the next, with a host of never-before-considered ideas to contend with. But pay attention long enough and you might find, well, that you've been paying attention too much. One important thing to remember is you are always using body movement to express yourself. Sometimes the best way to read somebody's body language is to stop thinking about it and let your gut feeling tell you what you need to know. Where rational minds sometimes overcomplicate, the body can save you. Yet, in this day and age, we have already trained ourselves to forget these things, thus learning about them becomes that much more important. So, if you're having problems with getting interviewed or getting hired in today's competitive job market, then go to www.interviewmastermind.com forward slash free course and sign up to get our special four-part mini course on how to get your resume to stand out in a slow economy. If you sign up, we're also going to throw in four free issues of our Advanced Interview Secrets newsletter, and the first one will get sent to your email right away. All right, so thanks for watching this video, and stay tuned for the next episode of Job Interview Tips That Work.